need something about it. Damn Nuka-Cola song stuck in my head again. Nisha really only has one rule around here. Damn Nuka Cola song stuck in my head again. If you come across any herbologist crazies, just ignore them. Told those freaks to stick to their camp. Come on, girl, you know we should run this place. Not some little greenie Gage dragged in. We're giving him a second chance. Gage screws this up, he knows we'll skin him alive. So shut up and be patient. What about you, big guy? Nothing to say on the matter? As long as he doesn't get in my way, I much care. Yeah, figured as much. Both of you just get out of here. And make sure the others know the message. <laughs> you look like much to me. You want to talk? Talk to Nisha. Savoy. I swear to God, I'll kill them all. Hey. So, you're Gage's little pet project. Congratulations to our brand new 
Pet project? What's that supposed to mean? Gage didn't say anything. Apparently, we're not good enough to run this place ourselves. Gage wanted to bring in his own little puppy to replace Coulter. But I guess training a puppy is way easier than getting us to do what he wants. <laughs> and what are you? His grandma? <laughs> if I was, I would have slit that little suck-up's throat a long time ago. Gage will never be one of us. He's a failure. He's lucky we're giving him a second chance. Everyone knows we all wanted Coulter dead. Of course, if I had my way, it would have been a slow, painful process. But whatever. Let's get this meet and greet over with. I'm Nisha. I lead the Disciples. We've only got one rule around here, and that's keeping the peace of this... alliance. Otherwise, the way we see it, this world stopped caring about rules the moment people started dropping bombs on one another. What do you mean by keeping the peace? It means do what you want, but don't get caught. The last thing I need is the operators and Pat breathing down my neck. We can take either of them one on one, but I don't like my odds when it comes to double duty. So keep the peace. It's the only rule we need. This world needs rules. Otherwise, we'll never recover. Rules are dangerous because people start to trust them. They make you think you're safe, but once you turn your back, you're dead. Coulter thought some sort of rule or code made him untouchable. But he found out he was wrong. The hard way. Although I could give him a little credit. He built the gauntlet, after all. Of course, it was total shit at first. No imagination. But we spiced it up a bit. How many lives has this gauntlet claimed? Who's counting? It's at least enough to keep the traders busy. We like to send them in to clean out the bodies whenever things get ripe in there. They don't always make it out alive, of course. The gauntlet never sleeps. <laughs> you call that a gauntlet? More like a cakewalk. Do cakewalks end in death? Because if Gage hadn't helped your ass, you'd be dead right now. Let's just hope Gage is right about you. He made a lot of promises to get us here. And never followed through. So you better not screw this up, because I'm not about to tolerate another round of bullshit. Are you questioning me? You're over, boss? Not questioning. Just curious. We were wrong about Coulter. We won't make the same mistake twice. I'm the best there is. Willing to bet your life on that? You see, the Disciples don't make empty threats. We make good on them. We aren't swayed by caps like those spoiled brats obsessed with their hair, or those savage animals who can't behave in public. Fuck this up, and I will kill you. Although, I admit I have even better plans for Gage. But, if you support us and keep your promises like a good little overboss, we back you. You get to live, and everybody wins. I don't make promises, and you'll do what I say. Looks like you're already a step above Coulter. We'll see how this plays out. For now. But if you change your tune and decide to play nice, there's no shortage of work around here. So if you're looking to prove you've got what it takes, you know where to find me. Anonymous note has come in here. Whoever's dumping bodies in the swan pond. Always keep your knife sharp. Totally no that last one died too fast. You may run Nuka World, but this is the same. Hey there. They're gonna kill me. Hey there. Help! Things are boring as hell since Nisha made his team up. One guy I ain't no man. Jealous. I mean, I can't blame Killing him. beats stealing any day. Nothing beats that much. Cool. Hope we get more anyway, gauntlet runners soon. Really big guy. Guy, actually. Uh, I don't remember his name. Doesn't matter. So. The best thing about wearing a mask? 
not I'm gonna look like I care when people talk to me. You start collecting antiques. Savoy. So sick of Nuka-Cola. Those pack holes even look at me wrong. They're dead. I could really go for killing someone right about now. I'm not sure what's worse. Wearing a tie or wearing a teddy bear. Bet Gage is happy he has a new ass to kiss. Not sure how he put up with Coulter all that time. Hey, Nisha. You look like you could use something to do. And I got just the thing. What you got? I was just thinking how very boring and dull the operators' lives must be. And thought we could spice it up a bit for them. They've made a friend of an old acquaintance that I let live a while back. I think I regret that decision now, if you know what I mean. Who am I up against? Raiders. Like they stand a chance. Who will I be facing? Some worthless local raiders. I expect you to make it worth my while. Obviously. Think anyone does anything for free around here? Well, beside the traitors. I trust there'll be something in this for me. That goes without saying. Think I'm gonna enjoy that. Good. The operators are too obsessed with their reflections to get any real work done around here. Hey. Hey. Well? <clears throat> hey, I never got a chance to properly thank you for helping me take out Winlock and Barnes. So we're done with the gunners? Definitely. With those two clowns taking a dirt nap? I'm pretty sure the gunners heard my message loud and clear. Couldn't have done it without your help. You stuck your neck out for me. And I don't forget sh... I mean, things like that. Cursing doesn't offend me, you know. I didn't think it did. It's not about you, it's about a promise I made. When I left the Capital Wasteland, I didn't just leave Little Lamplight behind. I left my family behind. I had a beautiful wife named Lucy. And a son, we named Duncan. He's the one I made my promise to. I promised to clean up my act and to be a better person. I guess that sounds pretty stupid coming from a guy who shoots people for a living. You must have had a good reason to leave him behind. That's what I keep telling myself. My son, he's sick. I, I, I don't know what's wrong with him. One day he's playing out in the fields behind our farm. The next he took a fever and these blue boils popped up all over his body. Last I saw he was... Almost too weak to walk. I didn't dare ask him to come with me. Honestly, I don't know how much longer he's going to last. There must be something we can do. I was hoping you'd say that. A few months before we met, I bumped into a guy named Sinclair who claimed his buddy caught some kind of disease. I thought he was wasting my time until he said his partner broke out in blue boils. They dug up information about a cure at a place called MedTech Research. They even managed to grab the building's lockdown security codes. Unfortunately, Sinclair's buddy died before they were able to break into the facility. I mean, there's no way that's a coincidence, right? MedTech has to be the place. 
Can you trust this Sinclair guy? To be honest, I don't know him from Adam. But he brought up the blue boils in the sickness his partner suffered from. There's no way that's a coincidence. Or a trap. Would make any sense. If Sinclair says MedTech Research is the place, that's where we need to go. Otherwise, I've got nothing else. Don't give up hope. If there's a cure, we'll find it. Thanks, partner. I'll put MedTech Research on your map. When you're ready, just take us out there. I have all the codes we need to get through their security. What you're doing... No one's ever cared that much about me before. Even if it takes me the rest of my life. I'll repay this debt to you. I swear it. trash one more time, they're gonna wake up short a few body parts. Hey, Dixie. I'm surprised Coulter lasted as long as he did. Pretty sure we all wanted him dead. And I just march right up to his face and say, well, here I am. Now what? You can see right away that he was impressed. I had it out with that disciple chick again today, Anna. Tired of her always winning. She's got better aim, better comebacks, even packs a better punch. Well, not for long. Fuck these rules, I'm going after her. But then, when she's floating face down in the swamp pond, we'll see who's better. I can't wait to see. What the hell? How'd you get in here? What? A girl's got her ways. I'm just here because Anna's big into helping Nisha keep the peace between all us gangs. Me? Not so much. What the? That should keep you quiet till I get you back to Fizz Top. Oh, were you recording this just for little old me? You operators are such sweethearts. I mean, this area seems pretty scarce. I'm thinking of packing it in and heading back to the Commonwealth. I lost one of the Brahmins to some damn rad scorp the other day. And I think Emmy's coming down with something. The rest of us are just at each other's throats. Tired of traveling and barely running into any business. This whole plan was a bust. As it is, we barely got enough to pay for our losses. Hey, are all y'all traders? If so, I know a pretty good post nearby. Guarantee you'll turn a profit if you want to check it out. Yeah, well, I'm not sure we want to trust anything some stranger in a mask told us. Sure you're not some sort of raider? I ain't no raider. And I only wear this mask on account of some Yao Guai wanting a piece of me a while back. It's up to you folks. If y'all are interested, Nuke World's just a short trip north. Can't miss it. Just tell them Dixie sent you, and they'll treat you and yours like y'all are family. We'll talk about it. Thanks for stopping by. Maybe we'll have to check out this Nuke World outpost before heading back. It'd be worth a shot. I'll have to talk with the others, and hope no fights break out this time. Hey, Ruth. Sammy just came back with this girl, Dixie, and brought the best news ever. She said she comes from a place where we'll be safe and protected, called Nuka World. Finally. I am so tired of trying to live out here on our own, dealing with raiders and finding food and just surviving. We're packing up to leave. And we're out of here. I, I wanted to leave this message for you. It's awfully sweet of y'all to welcome a stranger into your home. Uh, you've no idea how happy we are that we ran into you. Not as happy as I am. What are you doing? Wait, I thought you were here to... Ah! 
Strings if someone like you is in charge now. That last one died too fast. Heard you put a pretty good beat down on Val. What happened? I was out of smoke since she didn't want to hook me up. Hell, in that case, she deserved it. Looking a lot worse for a cigarette. <laughs> I remember. Hey. Well, I suppose we all owe you for putting down Coulter. Man was an idiot. Made us all look bad. <laughs> A clown stuck in his own little car. I guess we can take some solace in the fact that someone finally gave him what he deserved. I want to know. What did you feel as you did it? When you brought that walking pile of human garbage to his knees? <laughs> what were you discussing when I walked in? Well, you, Overboss. You're an unknown quantity. And we're interested in knowing who we're dealing with. So we'd like if you answered the question. Yes. What went through you as you crushed the life out of that oaf? Bored? Kind of like this conversation, now that you mention it. Hey, you don't get to talk to Mags that way. It's all right, William. Regardless, Gage's decree means that you're the new overboss. I suppose we can only hope you work out better than the last one. I'm Mags. This is my brother. William. Pleasure. Along with our co-conspirator, Lizzie, we run this crew. Call ourselves the Operators. You'll come to understand soon enough that we are the only gang you should be backing around here. Because we're the only ones who see this place for what it is. A temple. A testament to the only thing that matters in this world. And what's that? Caps. This place was built for the sole purpose of taking caps out of the pockets of fools. We only joined Gage and Coulter's little menagerie in order to restore it to that goal. Though by somewhat more cutthroat methods than I expect its founders intended. Instead, Coulter had us sitting on our asses for the better part of a year while he lived large in his damn mountain top. And that means, if you're going to be in charge around here, We'd like some assurances that you intend to bring this place back to its true purpose. And that we're going to get back to robbing folks of their fucking money. And you want to explain to me why exactly I should be backing the operators? Because we dispense with the bullshit. My people aren't commanded by lunatic bloodlust or animal instincts. We are the only rational players around here, and would make valuable allies. So long as we know you intend to get this place back to bringing in caps. So we want to know what your plan is. <laughs> I'm sorry. That sounds like a demand. I'm the overboss around here. And I'll do whatever the hell I want. Hmm. Of course, boss. Whatever you say. So, you're welcome in the parlor whenever you like. Make yourself at home. 
And if you think you might be interested in running some jobs for us, you just come speak to me. But do take a little time to consider the kind of life we could all have if we put this place back to doing what it does best. Mags always saw the potential in this place, and she doesn't steer us wrong. Understanding the operators ain't hard. We know how to live. The other gangs, dying is more their strong suit. Hey, William. Operators got no tolerance for dead weight. Those who can't cut it, they're gone. Any operator gets caught breaking the peace, I'll punish them myself, boss. Can't lose it. It's all right. People who do their job well should get to live well. And no gang does their job better than us. Max? Hmm. You know, I've got a job set aside that I think you might find... stimulating. If you're interested. What's happening? There's a favor I need done. An... old friend. Would like a rival taught a lesson. Make her wear this shock collar. You can either sneak up to her and attach it, or beat her into submission and then do it. Who are we talking about here? Gunner contingent. Chance for some real action. I hope you're not under the impression I do this for nothing. Of course. This is real work, Overboss. Pays real caps. Sounds fun. Good to hear. We'll be waiting. mother. I want you to know, your father and I, we take no pleasure in this decision. But at this point, we don't have a choice. You and Bill have dragged the black name through the muck for the last time. What they say you two and that Wyeth girl did to those classmates of yours. True or not, defending you both again and again, it's gotten to the point we can barely do business in this town anymore. You two have cost us so much. And are you repentant? Are you sorry? Of course not. Well, we are through defending you. You're going to accept the exile the town demands. You're going to leave Diamond City for good. And you will never, ever see another cap from your father or I again. You had every chance in the world to make this right, Maggie. Well. We are done giving you chances. Mother, it's Max. Thank you so much for your tape. It kept William, Lizzie, and I very entertained during our time in the holding cell. 
We found the part about refusing us our inheritance particularly amusing. Because that money is ours. Years we spent under your thumb, trying to be the perfect little dolls you always wanted. Got it. Both have the scars to prove it. Got it. lost a lot of purpose when we got here and found it wasn't what Coulter promised. I don't want to see Facebook. Speak to know they weren't born into this life. They sure as hell were born for it. If Lizzie asks you to volunteer for one of her tests, don't. We'd all considered putting a bullet in Coulter's back at some point. Suppose you just beat us to it. Frisk visitors. You get special. Hey, just wanted to say no hard feelings. All right. Surprised to see me alive? Hey, I may be surprised, but in a good way, all right? Just because I got you in here doesn't mean I didn't regret it. It's okay, I get it. Thank God. If it's any consolation, I'm glad you made it. I lost my real family when Coulter and his gangs took this place from us. Now, these traitors are all I have left. They're my family now. Every time Coulter sent me out to lure people into the gauntlet, I didn't have a choice. I had to do it, or he'd kill someone I cared about. I'm just sorry you had to get caught up in all this. Did you ever fail to bring someone in? Never. Couldn't afford to. Used to be me and another guy they'd send out. He thought he'd try and escape while he was out there. They found him, made him watch as they tortured and killed two of our own. Then they sent him through the gauntlet themselves. After that, choice was obvious. Like I said, Sorry you got caught up in all this. It's all right, Harvey. I understand. Good to hear, boss. Never figured I'd find myself in this situation before. I thought for sure I'd be a goner. Well, better get back to it. Welcome to the nest, boss. We was wondering when you'd make it down here. Jason Tardy feathered the last alphas. Ain't been seen since. And it ain't smart to go ask him about it. If you're wearing a collar, it's because you asked for it. Ain't no one's a slave that don't want to be. Out in the hole could just be scraps. Well, I've seen guys lose their mind just trying to hold. What's the point of 
you're picking up that junk. The pack lets it all hang out. If you can take something, it's yours. to look at you. Not sure I'm buying this new overboss thing. You gonna be a problem I need to solve? Slow down there, boss. We're just getting to know each other. Name's Mason. The Pax Alpha. This here's our side of town. You might be overboss for now, but I'm the boss of the pack. And it's gonna stay that way. Long as you don't go forgetting that. We're gonna be fine. Your people aren't gonna cause me any problems, are they? The pack does what I tell them. If you don't get in my way, they won't get in yours. Let's work together, Mason. Yeah, I'm not interested in ruining your gig. If that ain't a lie, then things might end up all right. Yes. Look, it ain't like anyone's broke out of that just figured on his replacement being, well, different. Gage says you're the boss now, so you're the boss. You don't want to be over, boss? If I thought the other gangs would go along, yeah, I'd run this place in a heartbeat. Might have to, if you turn out to be a turd. At least it ain't Mags Black, or that freak Nisha. Besides, you can't possibly be worse than Colter. I have big plans for this place. You'll see. Maybe you're the real deal. We thought Holter was the real deal, too. He's living in a pool of his own blood. Don't get me wrong, Coulter was definitely overboss. Not a man to mess with. And things were good in the beginning. But that was a year ago. Then Coulter went soft. Wanted to take stock in what he achieved. So what is it you want? Something, anything that's more than sitting around we've been doing for the last year. Honestly, oh, sure this place beats living the shitholes we had out there. They made the palace and caps we signed up for. Ain't none of us happy, not even the disciples. And they're normally a chip a bunch so long as they're drenched in blood. Things were going to hell fast, but Gage put the brakes on that. Got us together and promised he'd find something to deal with Colton. So, what's the real story behind Gage and Colt? Hey, I only know what I've heard. The story is that Gage talked Colter into becoming overboss. And he got you in here, didn't he? Maybe he likes people owing him. Maybe it lets him get things done without getting dirt on his hands. After Colter went soft, Gage got us behind closed doors and promised to get someone to off Colter. And you did just that. That had been the whole point of the gauntlet all along. 
You can trust me. I'll be a good leader. No offense, but you just got here. We'll see what you can do. Let's cut to the chase. You're gonna do right by the pack. I hear you've been talking to the other gangs. Be a good dog and do what you're told. Or you'll be put down. Oh, yeah, of course. Not in front of my guys, all right? You got us. Without a dominant struggle inside the pack to deal with. One last thing before I let you go. There's always work to do around here. Keep the zoo in order. If you're ever able to lend a hand, drop by. Loyalty's a two-way street. What's happened? <laughs> Come to slum it with us animals. I'm looking for something to eat. Because I got something. What's up? I want to cause a little ruckus for our so-called friends. The operators. But they got a trader working for them, bringing them the good stuff. But not for long. Hard to earn a living as a corpse. Who am I up against? Just a fool. Should be easy pickings. If I scratch your back, I expect you'll scratch mine. The rules of the pack. You help chase down the prey, you share in the spoils. So yeah, you'll get some. Sign me up. I was hoping you'd say that. Let's it all hang out. You a sheep or a wolf? What is it? Hammer and nails sort of guy. something you need. I've got a few minutes to browse. Let me know what you'd like.
Don't worry. I only test the weapons on customers I don't like. I'll take a look, sure. A gun for every occasion. means a lot to me that you made the library. Sure. Let's take a look. Cash or trade? Let's get started. See what you have. Got a few minutes to browse.
fun. Executive terminal. Sinclair said that's the only way we can override the facility's lockdown. That's it. in here. 
place is trashed. Terminal on the desk over there. Sinclair's passcode better work, or we're screwed. We need robots to take the day off or something? should be storing the cure.
smells horrible. I think we're the first ones down here in a long time. The sooner we find that cure, the sooner we can get the heck out of here.
could wrap my head around all this science stuff. up need something here you go we McCready did. holy crap we actually did it we just gave Duncan a fighting chance to live I don't know how I'll ever be able to pay you back for this I owe you big time all I care about is curing your son I know you do I'm just getting tired of taking instead of giving maybe one day I'll learn to get my priorities straight anyway the last step ahead of us is getting the cure to Daisy and Good Neighbor. With her caravan contacts, she's the only one I trust to get this to Duncan on time. This is the last favor I'm going to ask. I promise. Let's go. Yes? Hey there. There's something you want? Come with me. There's something you need to see. Uh, okay. Lead the way. <clears throat> Can I help you? How's it going? Um... Fine. Do I know you? Come with me. There's something you need to see. Uh, okay. Lead the way. Heads up. What do you want? Daisy, 
means a lot to me that you made the library a safe. Uh huh. What kind of things do you sell? Oh, uh, so chin. Uh huh. Not looking to buy right now. You rush in, you rush out. Hey, Daisy. McGrady, I haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> you haven't been avoiding me, have you? No. How could I stay away from someone as cute as you, Daisy? Ah, uh, you're a lousy liar. But I'll just play stupid and pretend I don't know that. So, what do you need? I got it, Daisy. I found the cure to Duncan's disease. Oh my God, that's wonderful news. How'd you do it? Last time you tried, the Pharaohs almost chewed you to bits. I didn't do it alone. The friend here got me through medtech. Now all I need to do is get the cure into Duncan's hands. Can you help me? Of course, McCready. You've saved my behind more than once. It's the least I can do. It's okay. You can trust me. I swear I'll get the cure to Duncan. If McCready trusts you, that's good enough for me. I appreciate that. He's actually not so bad. Once you get to know him. I'll get the sample on the first caravan leaving the Commonwealth. The driver owes me a few favors. And he's reliable. It will arrive at your homestead in no time, McCready. Thanks. You're a doll. Hey, do me a favor. Take care of McCready for me. He's one of the good ones. Look alive. What? Here's that ammo. Your thoughts? Access to grind. Uh, How do you think things... I like the way you've been handling things lately. Let's hope it stays that way. That's all for now. All right. Alive. What do you want? Wait there. Okay. Just give me a shout when you need me. Anomaly detected.
Mags Black in Nukatown owns you. Get moving. Come on. Sure, no sweat.
some kind of death wish? Let's do this. I gotta change it if you wanna catch. If you ain't standing out, you ain't looking at me. I'd have killed Coulter myself. I wasn't sure how the other gangs would take that. Guess I should have. What can I say? I'm good at what I do. Some said you couldn't do it. I had those assholes shot. No, really. Not sure the big boss man needs a piddly reward. But fair is fair. Here you go. Got something lined up? Don't suppose you want to lend another hand. Life's too short for bullshit. You gotta put it in your last day. It ain't easy keeping the zoo. We all do our part. Over, boss. In trouble? And there's a lot that can be done with this place. All you need is the will. Boom! <laughs> and that's how it's done. Over, boss. Glad to know things went well. Spend them as you will. You know, the operators could use your expertise again. Back in disciples. Bunch of amateurs playing dresser. Damn you, Coca-Cola song stuck in my head again. Situation dealt with. Well, that didn't take long. Your payment. Not that you need it. I got something else. Nisha really only has one rule around. Wasn't here. ready to just up and storm the town and risk killing. Too fast. I'm losing my touch. Boss returns. Well, yeah. you're back in one piece. That's a good sign. Everything all peachy with our friendly neighborhood psychopaths. Sure hope you didn't promise them too much. I mean, going a little over the top is part of the game, but you don't want them holding it against you if you can't deliver. So, uh, 
And what comes next, Gage? Next, the fun stuff. Time to roll up your sleeves, boss. There's work to be done. This place is huge. Divided up into sections. Parks, whatever the hell they called them back in the day. We need to take them all back. One at a time. Every section we secure gives us a little more breathing room and more resources. You stake a claim, plant a little flag for one of the gangs, and that settles it. It's theirs for good. Who gets what, that'll be your call. Whoever you hand it off to will appreciate it, but the others might get a little jealous. You know how it goes. Plant a flag? Are you serious? Dead serious. Look, you leave it up to anyone else, the gangs will all just fight over who deserves a space. A lot of these idiots can't read, so it needs to be as plain as day for them to get on board. They know what to watch for. So that's it. Nice and simple, right? Take a minute. Settle in if you want. And then let's get to it. And hey, we're in this together. So I might as well go all in. You want me watching your back? You just say the word. <laughs> Why? What's in it for you? For the love of... Ain't you been listening? I'm the one that sold this whole idea to the gangs. Shit goes south. It ain't just your head they're gonna want on a stick. I like my head where it is. So if I can do anything to help keep it there, I'm gonna. So, what's it gonna be? We doing this together or not? That sounds like a great idea, Gage. You've got a deal. You're the overboss. Hey. There you are. I almost thought you forgot about me. You ready to head out? Are you kidding me? I've been bored out of my mind. Gage. Need something, boss? Can you give me an update on Nuka World? What's that update about? You ain't done shit yet. Nope, nothing. If you say so. Hey. Need something? Take this. You're gonna need it. How do you feel about us? Yeah, I feel like I've made the right choice sticking with you. Your thoughts? Let's get this show on the road. Didn't have anything else. Sure. Sometimes, works in your favor if the sheep see you coming. Need something, boss? Come with me. I need your help. Yeah, okay. Sure.
What's up, Bob? Other side's chained up. And aren't we having fun? <laughs> Don't worry. The mirrors are too dirty to reflect anything. In your case, I say that probably a benefit.
gone, little raider. Don't worry, I've still got plenty of surprises in store for you. I'll admit. 
admit, I didn't think you'd make it this far. I can tell you're different than the usual invaders, so I'll not bother with the usual tricks and illusions I use to scare off the superstitious. When the bombs fell, everything changed. We changed. And somehow, I received a gift. Actual magic. The stuff of legend. Perhaps you'd like to see some. Uh, no matter what you do, I can heal my friends, and we will protect what is ours. Sorry, but I'm not going out that easily. The show must go on. I wasn't planning on sleeping tonight anyway. Yes, of course, I'm kidding. But seriously, the clown makeup helps scare the invaders off. And there's a new one in the park. No, no, I don't think that's going to work this time. There's something different about this one. <laughs> I can do that too. Now, stop squirming. Sorry. I know you can't help it. We just have to hold out till she gets back with a cure. Then we'll drive the raiders out and get the farm back in order. We'll fix this. I promise. There. Back in character.
I need to prepare some more surprises for our visitor. So I'll leave you to find your way out.
going up. are all the same. You come into someone's home, steal their belongings, and kill those they care about. I'm not going to let you kill any more of my friends. This is our home, not yours. I'm not your enemy. This can end without bloodshed. We've defended this place for over 200 years. Do you think you're the first outsider I've met that's chosen to brand feral ghouls as monsters? How many of them have you needlessly slaughtered while ignorantly thinking you're doing the world a favor? You've been here for 200 years? Why? We worked here as entertainers until the bombs fell. The radiation may have changed us, but we decided to make this place our home over time. The illness took the minds of my friends, and those that we love. I am going to find a cure, and fix my friends before someone like you comes along, and exterminates us all. Ghouls like your friends, it's too late for them. The radiation changed them, forever. So you're admitting my friends are sick, and yet you try to kill them anyway? I'd say that makes you the only monster around here. It's not a sickness. The radiation has consumed their minds. They've become feral. You're wrong. Rachel is going to find a way to cure them. We're going to fix this. My beloved left this place years ago to find a cure to this disease. In return, I swore that I'd keep our people safe by defending our home. When Rachel walks back through those gates with the cure in hand, then you'll see, everyone will see, that I was right. I promise you, there is no cure. You'd be better off trying to find her, so you can be together. You're wrong. There is a cure. There has to be! But... Maybe she needs my help. If Rachel is still out there, I'll find her. And we'll search for this cure... together. I'll gather what remains of my friends, and we'll leave this place in your care. Don't worry about the radiation. It will no longer be a burden to you and your kind. Here, you should have this. Consider it... An apology for misjudging you. Farewell.
I bet it kills the others to see us on top. The disciples are finally where we belong. Heads up. Yeah, what's up? Never thought a reporter could consider themselves a success until someone threatened their so life. So a ghoul walks in. Wakey, wakey. Can't wait to get out of this goddamn heat. Everything I got will keep you safe. Sure. Let's take a look. Everything hand-tooled.
Remember, I don't serve sense. Supplies are just... Let's see what you got. Here's what we got. You're buying. Sure. I'll take a look. Sure. Murder and may Right. Can you build me a mansion? Casa del Dica. What's up? Another day has begun. Yeah? Since we had the big talk, well, it's been easier looking in the mirror. What do you need? What's going on? You know what? Since we talked, I'm feeling swell. Look at the two of us here in Sanctuary. Prepared for the future. If you need fixing up, let's get a look at you. Enough of this slog. Just point us to the nearest watering hole. My functions. So. Settlement has sent word. They somehow managed to drive off a super mutant ring. But they're worried the super mutants will come back in force. You better get over there before it's too late. Would you, you know, like there's go anything I can do to lighten the load? Or, you know, if you need anything proofread. Hey. There you are. I almost thought you forgot about me. Actually, 
I'll be back later. Well, that makes me feel wanted. Thanks. There you are. I almost thought you forgot. I just want to trade a few things. Oh, I see. All I'm... Heads up. I want to drop some of that. Hey, hey boss. Me much. Fall tech. Just to make sure everyone. Hey, got out. any gear for sale? Sorry, boss. All my stuff back in Nuka Town. Look alive. What you need? It's a better time for that talk. What conversation? Just all that stuff about how I was feeling about life when you first met me in Concord. And how I feel about you. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't talking complete nonsense. I understood. And I appreciated your trust in opening up to me like that. Oh, good. I guess I was more coherent than I thought. The thing is... When you asked me if I'd ever thought about becoming more than friends, my feelings for you, they haven't changed. I know you said that you weren't ready to move on. I thought maybe now that some more time has passed, well, that maybe you were ready to give us a chance. I still love my wife and that isn't going to change. Sorry, Preston. I understand. I'm glad to know even though that wasn't the answer I was hoping for. Yeah? Walk a hundred miles if I knew there was a p There you are. I almost thought you forgot about me. I just want to trade a few things. Oh, I see. Excuse me. What can I get you? I'll take a look, sure. Let me know what you'd like. Hope you ain't one of them synths here to spy on me. 
Hi. I'm sure I have something you need. Let's see what you got. Here's what I've... Uh-huh. Hey, buddy. Greetings, buddy. Would you like a cold one or did I'll take a beer. Cold and Alive. Yeah? What is it? Look alive, Gage. What do you need? Hey, got any gear for sale? Yeah, boss. Here's everything I got. I'm not sure what's worse, wearing a tie or wearing a teddy bear. Killing beats stealing any day. Nothing beats that much.
Attention. All matinee showings of the Phantom of the Nuka at the parlor are sold out. Tickets for evening showings are still available. Let's not stay too long. Get picked off real easy. Yourself, law abiding citizens will not be harmed. Intruder, identify 
yourself. Proceeding with search protocol. Please step into... Open and identify yourself. Law abiding citizens have nothing to fear. This is my kind of place. Built tough. Good for defense.
live at the Barry the Bear Show will receive a plush berry to take home. Nuka World is pleased to announce that a small portion of your efficiency will be donated to support our men and women fighting over the Tokens for the Midway Games are available at any one of the Mark Token Dispensers in Dry Rock Gulch. to the Robco Battle Zone. Please find a seat. Our next show begins in just five minutes. Scanners detecting sound of life.
Are you ready for incredible action? Well, Are you ready for thrilling battle? Are you ready? Just the latest robots fight it out in the ultimate showcase. And it's time for the Ronco Battle Zone. Now I bring the ring. Ronco's Galactron with their cutting edge lazy technology. Watch as the Galactrons make short work of these high bombs. Is everything okay? Yeah, sure, all things considered. Just been thinking is all. 
That whole thing with Colton. Guide maps I know for our hedge maze are available some, for confused but, uh, visitors at the Safari It could be a source park office for only yeah. $35. I mean, here I went and turned on the overboss. Who's to say I wouldn't do it again? What's the matter, Gage? Feeling guilty all of a sudden? No. Ain't no guilt over that call. Look, Coulter was a piece of shit. I've been real clear about that with you. But that... Really, that was all on me. I'm the one who talked him into being While overboss touring Nuka in World, the first place. Why not try a refreshing Nuka grape? Nuka orange or Nuka cherry? Now available if he was so bad, why help him in the first place? No, if I had known it was gonna get so bad, I wouldn't have. Right then, I thought Coulter was what this operation needed. Big, strong, didn't take shit from nobody. The gangs would fear and respect him, and he'd listen to me. I'd use all my years of experience to help him run things. But he was stubborn, let shit go to his head. Ain't the first time I've seen it, honestly, but it was one of the worst. Sickness bags are available for our more sensitive customers. At the entrance to the What are you saying? Carousel. You've made a habit out of doing this? No, no. This whole Nuka World plan was way bigger than anything I'd done before. One thing I've learned over the years, being the guy in charge also means you're the guy with the biggest target on your back. Whether it's another gang looking to take whatever you've scraped together or some punk thinking he knows better than the boss, there is always, always someone gunning for you. I don't want that target on me, but if I can be the guy just behind the guy in charge, well, that suits me just fine. If I got his ear, I can steer things yes. in a direction that Remember benefits to me. All and your prize tickets you at the Nuka Cave before you head home. Located in Nuka Town, USA. Sounds very practical of you. It's meant a longer life so far, if nothing else. But look, you ain't like Coulter. That's what I'm getting at. You ain't like the other raiders I've run with. So far, you make a pretty damn good overboss. And it's been fun running with you. I'm just saying, I'm starting to be glad we teamed up is all. Mulligan, all right, fuck Ms. it. Trixie, you know Sharon what I'm getting Bruce, at. One-Eyed Ike, and Let's Doc going. are all making their rounds at Dry Rock Gulch. Stop by for a photo opportunity. Yeah, what's up? More than happy to hold all the expensive stuff. Well, look at the two of us here in Sanctuary, prepared for the future. Hey, now that you're back here in Sanctuary, how would you like a job? Let's see what kind of clothes you got for sale.
They didn't tell me much. Vault tech. Just to make sure everyone's building out. Hey, buddy. Greetings, buddy. Care to wet your whistle? I'll take a beer. Cold and refreshing. Only thing better than getting pissed is picking a fight. Am I right? I'd kill for a drink. Come to think of it, I have. What's up? Hi. There you are. I'm a massager. Maybe constantly trying to kill us, but. So. Uh-huh. I just want to trade a few things. Oh, I see. Heads up. Faster if you kept your eyes on the road and off me ours. Ain't looking for trouble, I hope. Excuse me. I'm sure I've got something you need. I'll take a look. Sure. Here's what I got.
Yes? Ahem. I'm sure I've got something you need. Sure. Let's take a look. Great. Still ain't perfect, but we're surviving. see here could be the difference between let's see what you got a gun for every occasion It means a lot to me that you made the library. Let's see what you have. Cash or trade? Let's get started. Activated star control and the new robots in the galactic zone. Earlier today, I was working on a Nucatron when these damn kids came at us with their thirst sappers. Of course, they got soda all over the exposed hardware. The Nucatron lurched and pointed its nozzle right at one of the boys. I thought for sure he triggered the military protocol and we were all dead. Turns out star control sensed the glitch, so we never had to find out. It shut down the Nucatron itself. God, I was so relieved. I still think having armed robots in the park is insane. But as far as I'm concerned, this star controls the real deal.
That's it. While touring the Gorilla House, please refrain from making rude gestures to any of our primates.
I'm gonna trust you know what you're doing. Space on that. To unforeseen circumstances, the daily duel of Nuka Knight and the Nuka Cola Dark Knight has been postponed until further notice.
alert detected. Beginning search.
it. Hostile target identified.
Deploy all fighters. Enemy forces are moving to attack the colony. Heads up. Time to divvy up the loot. Just 
Something you think you're safe? You Let's know. trade some things. Go ahead. Hey there. There you are. I almost thought you forgot about me. Actually, I'll be back later. You won't take me with you? <laughs> Thanks a lot, partner. There you are. I almost thought you forgot about me. You ready to head out? Are you kidding me? I've been bored out of my mind. Look alive. What's up? Uh, <clears throat> Take this. You're gonna need it. Your thoughts? Man, I could really use a cigarette. How do you feel about us? I feel like I've made the right choice sticking with you. That was it. Sure. Another day of hard work. Another you know what? Since we talked, I'm feeling sweat. Gage. Need Look something, boss. Here in Saint. Can you give me an update on Nuka World? Not much to tell. Still. Gotta get the rest of the parks under our control, you know? Come with me. I need your help. Yeah, okay. Sure. Hi. There you are. I almost thought you forgot about me. I just want to trade a few things. Oh, I see. Let's trade some things. But of course. Look alive. Here's everything I got, Bob. How are you doing? I must confess, I am missing you. I hope you've come so we can travel again together. Hint, hint. Let's trade some things. But of course. Yeah. What is it? You might want to think about dropping some of that crap you're carrying. I won't hold it again. Hey there. Ready to head back out? That depends. How are you feeling? Are you kidding? Now that you're back. I'm feeling better than ever. When you're ready to go, I'll be right behind you. I just want to trade a few things. What am I? A bank!
Hey. Ready to head back out? I just want to trade a few things. What am I? A bank? Take a beer. Old and Peace, brother. Hey, Cleo. Don't worry. I only tell. Uh huh. Let's see what you got. Purchase of a. Yeah. Means a lot to me that you made the library. I've got a few minutes to browse. All the supplies, money, or violence can uh -huh. buy. You need protection. Everyone does. I'll take a look. Sure. Feel free to test the grips. Hey. Yeah, say the word, boss. I'm on it. Need me to hold on to something?
For more information, vault you ask me. Please see a sales oh, associate. These vaults Thank you. Messed up. And enjoy your sure. Stay here Stick me people. underground with no control over anything. What could go wrong?
step into your spacious private suite, equipped with all the comforts of home. Project Consumer Guidance. Civilian employees are starting to experience extreme headaches similar to the previous study. Luckily, the associated depression has not surfaced, so suicides aren't expected to be an issue yet. The increase in subliminal messaging frequency continues to have little to no effect on many visitors. But the speed at which the park staff was affected does show that some level of success has been achieved. I recommend moving forward with the audio tours for the next project. Perhaps a higher frequency of messaging fed directly into a consumer who can focus will be more effective. Adventure awaits. Imagine hundreds of bombs spread to enjoy a rich and very fast. Locally sold, I'm calling the name of the day, pal. Spacious private suite, equipped with all the comforts of home. And these are no dark bunkers. Your colony will feature beautiful, expansive common areas where you can relax. Join us on a journey into the future, where humanity has set out on a new voyage of discovery, seeking adventure among the stars.
trash bin. This present.
Tonight's showing at the Starlight Interstellar Theater will be Night of the Fishman's Revenge. Not recommended for children under five. Can I ask you something? What's up? We've been running together for a while now. You ain't afraid to take what you want. And don't let anybody get in your way. Got more guts than most folks. I guess what I'm wondering is... Why? to know how you think we're doing. Bet there's a whole lot of people right now sorry that we teamed up. Me? I think it's turning out to be a damn good idea. Thank you. 
until someone threatened their life. So Me? Much data on the world I'm very sorry. The atom bombs. I fear I may have to delete some of it to store my new observations. Can't wait to get out of this far down heat. Do you need something, monsieur? Sounds impressive, sure. Did you ever feel like that giant? Let's not stay too long someplace where we could get picked off real easy. If Lizzie asks you to volunteer for one of her tests.
break
Coulter said we'd all have more caps than we knew what to do with. <laughs> Glad that bastard's dead. So, are you in charge here? We like to say the only thing that's really in charge here is ah, 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 fun. This whole area is infested with bloodworms and who knows what else. It's not safe. You must mean the no good outlaws that are coming out of Man Mulligan's mind. Well, partner, if you're interested in lending a hand, I could use a new deputy. What do you say? You're not making any sense. What is this? Processing confused our concerned visitor. No need to worry. I am just a friendly Nuka Cola Protectron programmed for theme part amusement. Our friendly cowboy personalities will guide you and your loved ones through several fun Wild West activities. All right, tell me what I need to do. The door to Mar Mulligan's mind is locked up. I got a spare key in a safe by the theater, but wouldn't you know, I plumb forgot what the combination to the safe was. You'll need to talk to my three amigos, Doc Phosphate, One-Eyed Ike, and the Giddy-Up Kid. Prove to them you're tough enough to take on the outlaws, and they'll give you their part of the combination. Good luck, little doggy. And don't forget your complimentary deputy uniform, courtesy of Nuka Cola.
It's the Chicken new Hall Show Yeah, you available mean. now. You got top. Help me. I heard of giddy up buttercups. Have all fled the pokey. You got to track them um, down and bring them back to my corral. Now, giddy up buttercups can't resist the taste of Nuka Cola. So check all our refreshment stands. What do you say, Deb Giddy? Can you help an honest horse trader out? Actually, I really don't want to do this. Can we skip it? Pretty please? Well, I suppose there ain't no harm in it. All right. Here's the third part of the safe combination. Just a reminder for our guests that tonight's bout at the Robco Battle Zone is almost sold out. Purchase your tickets now. Guests, if you're missing an item, stop by our lost and found at the main gate. Your item will be returned to you for a nominal fee. Attention. In the event of an emergency, remain calm and obey all safety and shelter instructions provided by Nuka World employees. Thank you. I already took everyone there once. Don't you remember? You said I did a root and toot and good job, partner. That does sound like me. All right, here's my part of the safe combination. Go get those outlaws, deputy. I'm in a hurry. Can we just say I won? I, I absolutely guarantee no one at Nuka Cola is going to be upset. I suppose, considering how crowded the park is today, that we can make an exception. Here you are.
This has got to be the worst gig yet. Caleb came up with another way to torture us with his ridiculous method acting. First it was all the drinking, which, admittedly, was fun at first. But now the guy's refusing to bathe and subjecting us to the worst body odor ever known to mankind. Seriously. The guy plays the town drunk in some Wild West kid show. This ain't Hollywood. I think the whiskey is totally helping me get into the headspace I needed for this new role. I'm really starting to embrace it. And I think I'm seriously nailing it out there on stage. Jesse's trying to harass me over it, saying it's not right, but screw him. It's time to take this role to the next level. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'll be the one playing Sheriff Bruce next year. And then Jesse can play the Tom Drunk. It would serve the jealous bastard right. <laughs> bags are available for our more sensitive customers at the entrance to the Stampede Carousel. Listen.
Mine was the nest for a bloodworm queen. Now that she's gone, this whole area should be a lot safer. I can't understand a word of what you're saying, but you've been the best deputy this side of the Mississippi. Here, take some souvenir bottle caps courtesy of the Milka Cola Janitorial Service Department. You and your friends are welcome in Dry Rock Gulch. Any time.
Bingo. useful. What's up, boss? Hey. More than happy to hold hey. all the expenses.
approach and identify yourself.
Anything in here? Heads up. Damn heat. Don't care much for good neighbor. That place is nothing but trouble. Hey, if you need a weapon, you've come to the right place. I'll take a look. Sure. Great.
more satisfying than a smoking... ...gun and a pocket full of cash. Don't worry. I only test the weapons on customers I don't like. Feel free to... I've got a few minutes to browse. A gun for every occasion. I'll take a look, sure. Remember, no returns, mm -hmm. exchanges, or death uh -huh. threats. Heads up. Time to divvy up the loot. On something don't bother sure I've got a few minutes to browse cash or trade let's get started 